Hiya, it's Hannah the Artisan Duck and I'm back today with a brick stitch tutorial for an ice cream cone. And why an ice cream cone? It's a good question. Uh, I have no idea, mainly just because I fancied it. So, let's get started. Right, I've got my needle and thread and this is about an arm span length of thread so it's really nice and long. And off to the side here I've got my beads. So let me just slide them in and show you. I've got a dark brown, sort of um, an orangey colour very pale pink and a green and that's the, the pink will be for strawberry ice cream and then I've gone for mint choc chip obviously you can choose whatever colors you want I did actually do the pattern with some different beads and some different colors just so you can see how different it can look um, and this is the one that we're going to be doing today so yeah you can always alter it I have made myself a little um, pattern so to speak on the computer so this is what I'm going to be working from today uh, I will put this on my blog as a PDF for you to get if you want to just get access to this I'm going to talk you through it today show you some of the basics of brick stitch and then we'll make this ice cream together so I'm going to start at the bottom of the cone and the first thing to do is to pick up two beads I'll just bring this back in and show you we're going to pick up these two beads here and then we're going to go back down and add this little point on so we're going to start down here so I'm going to pick up a dark brown and one of my orangey colours and go from there right I've just moved my beads off to the side because the camera keeps trying to focus on them otherwise and I've picked up my dark brown and my orange and we're just going to move these down to towards the end of the thread although we are going to leave a good tail thread because we need to weave that in at the end so we've got those two down there like that if you can see those and we're coming out the top of this orange bead so we're going to take the needle up again back through this brown and when we pull it tight it's going to force those two beads to sit side by side like that now we're going to go back and add the point on the cone so I'm just going to pick up another dark uh, brown bead like that and we're coming out this dark brown here so we're going to go back up through this orange bead and pull it tight and that will add that point on for us just see so you can just wiggle it around get it to sit right and this is the tail thread here as well so all I'm going to do now just to get them to sit straight so you can see is pull both of those threads up and you can see it forces them to sit nicely like that now we're going to have to keep hold of this tail thread all the way through not because it'll unravel but just to keep it out of the way more than anything so we're going to work our way up to the next layer and I'm just going to bring my pattern back so I can show you where we're going. So we've added in these three beads and now because we're exiting, if you can see that, we're exiting out this orange bead which is this one here. We're going to go up to the pattern up here and start working our way across. And when you read the pattern you do sort of zigzag around like this all the way up so you have to remember that when you're reading it to keep sort of flipping sides which side you start from you'll notice that I twist my beading as well so if it looks confusing and I've turned my beadwork it's just because that's easier for me to work with so the next bead is going to be a dark brown an orange and another dark brown and you might notice that the rows are increasing so we're going to pick up two beads to start with because this will be how we increase our row you can see there I've got my two beads and to add this stitch on we're going to go across this bridging thread here make sure you keep that bead work tight I can tighten it up in a second so we're going to pull that through and anchoring the thread onto that thread underneath is what's going to keep the stitch in place so we're going to take the needle then back up through this orange it's a bit fiddly at this stage and I'm trying to do it so you can see so just bear with me there we go we're just going to take it up there like that and pull through and this is going to hold our beadwork in place so there you go you can just see 
there's the start of the pattern you can just see the the beads starting to stagger so I'm now going to pick up my other brown bead which is going to be on the end of this row and because we've got no more of those bridging threads because we've run out of beads to attach it to we're going to use the thread that is going up between these two so I've just popped my bead on and if you can just see there's a little thread that's going up into that bead and we're gonna pull the needle underneath it like that and pull tight and then we're going to take our needle back up through this brown bead I'm sorry if you can hear banging it's my neighbor and we're going to pull tight there you go you can see that's the end of our row and we're going to carry on now with our next row up so we're exiting out of this brown up here I've just moved that in to show you so we've got our bottom bead and these two and we need to continue on now with the next two rows so we're going to start up on this low row here on this end and work our way like this because the row is increasing pick two beads up at the start of each new row and you attach the bead on at the side thread like I've just showed you for each of the end of the row so I'm going to go away and I'm going to do the next two rows and then come back when we need to do this row here because as you can see this is not an increase but a decrease right there you go you can see I've done those rows and we're on the side where these dark brown beads are so you can see we're exiting out of this dark brown bead at the top and the next bead we add is going in so this is just one of my orange beads so what we need to do at this point is pick up one bead and I've got that already on my needle and we're going to take it directly into these bridging threads here and just the same as before pull it through without getting your thread stuck on the table and take your needle up through the bead again like that and now we've just you can see it's pushed that stitching inwards it's not sticking out the edge and increasing and we're going to continue on the row and instead of having to use the extra thread off to the side on this time you can just use all of these bridging threads to attach your new beads so I shall go off and do that and come back and show you Right, there we go all four of those beads have been added and I'm exiting out to this brown on this side which is now the, the this side of the um, pattern so as you can see we're going out again so we're going to continue up on these two rows picking up two beads at the start of each row just like we did down here so I'm going to start by picking up my orange and working the way across like that I'm going to do both of those and then I'll come back and we'll start on the next section there we go that's our two extra rows added on and we're exiting out this dark brown here which is the same as this one up here so quite quickly that stripy pattern's developed and we've covered a good chunk of the pattern so we're going to go up again and we're not uh, increasing the row we're going in again so we just pick up the one bead and start a row and we're just going to keep on going up and you can see I'll just move this down a bit you can see I've put like little ice cream dribbles in so the pink of the first ice cream color comes in before we finish this ice cream cone so just keep an eye on the pattern and add those two little um, those little pink bits in as well so I'm just going to start down here and work my way across right up to that ice cream color There we go my ice cream cone is all done and we've just started to bring in some of the pink ice cream at the top there so if I just bring this back in you can see from the pattern that the pink ice cream goes out and back in and we start incorporating some of the green ice cream just at the top section here 
So on the out section we pick up two beads to begin with and when we go in we pick up just the one bead to begin with. So I'll crack on with that and come back to you when we're on the green section. There we go, all our pink ice cream is done and we've started to bring some of the green in for the mint choc chip on top. So we can see now that the mint colour starts going, it goes in initially and then it goes out and back in and round. If you didn't want to do the second layer, you could just have done this and then maybe go up one or two more layers and levels and sort of shape it round like that if you didn't want to do the second scoop on top. But I think two scoops of ice cream is what everyone should have. So I'm going to do the green and these are my little chocolate chips if that's not obvious. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you how to add the loop on the top because uh, we need to do a little bit of a, a funny turnaround to get that on so that you can hang it from a necklace or your earrings. So let's get on with the green. There we go, our ice cream is done and we just now need to add the loop on the top to attach um, an earring wire or a jump ring or however you want to use it. So I'm just going to turn it around. We need to take the needle down so it's exit and then back up so it's exiting out the next green along. If we were just to go down that way we're not going to be directing the right way to add the loop on. So we're going to take the green the needle down into this green bead just below it and you'll see the line of thread but that's fine you'll see the line of thread anyway if you notice on the um, the rows where you decrease you'll see that there's um, extra thread anyway so it's not going to look out of place and then we need to direct the thread back round so it can come back up so we're going to go back down again into this one here Oops. and we're not um, making any more bead paths this is the same path that the thread would have gone on before so we're just going to take it down there now this is going to be tricky to show you we're going to loop the needle and thread around the thread that's going up between these two beads so let me see if I can catch it and show you there we go I've just put the needle underneath and what we're going to do is tie a little knot around this thread by pulling that through and when we've got a little loop we're going to put 
the needle through like that and we're going to tie pull it to tie a knot now that's securing this thread down here so then when we go back up into this green bead it may be a tight-ish fit but you can go back up through this bead you can always bring your pliers in to help to just gently pull that through like so and then we're going to go up into this brown bead here and pull through and then back up oops, into this green and pull there we go now we're going to pick up five green beads there we go I've got my five green beads and we're just going to take the needle down into this uh, green here so not quite on the end it's the second one in and pull and pull that through and that's my tail thread and there's our loop so you just need that now need to work your thread down through your ice cream and you need to knot it on those threads just like we did there on the other side and then you need to take your other tail thread and go up and knot the tail thread in there and then when you've done that you can add your rearing wire or however you want to use it I'm going to go away I'll do all that and I'll come back and show you the finished uh, pair of earrings there we go there's our finished earrings all ready for summer uh, I shall put some links below for the blog post that goes with them so you can go grab the PDF if you want it and I'll link some other brick stitch tutorials I've got as well I've got a few I've got like flowers hearts a pumpkin and Christmas tree yeah I think those are the only ones but if you've liked this and you want to see more then please don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you all next time bye